Good afternoon and welcome to Springfield Central State High School 2022 Sports Awards Ceremony. My name is Mr Gerke and I'm the Sports Coordinator here at Springfield Central State High School. I'd like to welcome our Acting Principal, Mrs Lindy Want, as well as our special guest speaker today, uh, Dakota Davidson, for this afternoon. Welcome also to our parents, family and friends, staff and students attending and watching the ceremony from afar. In the event of emergency, please exit via the roller doors to my right to the Oval and follow the, the instructions of staff members here. Another year of disruptions has led to a lot of rescheduling of events, especially at the start of the year when we had to cancel our swimming program. Fortunately, we were able to reintroduce a lot of sport into the second half of the year, which has created many amazing opportunities for our students. As you saw, saw from our video there, there was a lot of opportunities, which was awesome to see. Uh, this will give us, uh, this will give us uh, great, uh, great pleasure in acknowledging a successful 2022. 
Please be upstanding for the national anthem performed by Lexi Kuru Ikapau and Janelle Aquino. Please be seated. Thank you, Janelle. I ask Lexi to now to give the acknowledgement of country. Good afternoon. Before we celebrate our school's successful sporting culture, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land which we gather today, the Jagara Yagara and Yugaropul Yugaro peoples. I would also like to pay my respect to the elders past, present and emerging. I recognise their connection to country and their role for caring and maintaining country over thousands of years. May their strength and wisdom be with us throughout the night. Thank you. Thank you, Lexi. I would, like, I would now like to invite Mrs Want to deliver the principal's address. Good afternoon, everyone, including a special warm welcome to our guest speaker, Dakota, and last but not least, our very highly talented athletes who have represented at school this year. It is with great honour that I welcome you all to the 2022 Sports Awards Ceremony for Springfield Central State High School. It gives me great pleasure to speak at this ceremony that has been observed to award the achievements of our teams and athletes. This event truly showcases the commitment that all students have put into the many sports and competitions held this year. Today, we are here to announce the winners of the special awards and celebrate all the participants, whatever position they finished in. A huge congratulations to all the finalists. You have definitely set a very admiring benchmark for future aspiring athletes and represented your school well, ensuring our four core values are upheld. On behalf of the staff, I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the efforts of our parents, volunteers and teachers for making this year amazing. From taking many training and coaching sessions, attending games and events and supporting each and every one of our young people who participated this year, I'm sure I speak on behalf of the students themselves uh, too when I humbly thank you. This ceremony would also not have been possible without the amazing work of our SCSH HPE staff, as well as our administration and support staff. Thank you for all the work that you do and for making this year's awards ceremony happen at such a grand level. Someone once said to me that the five S's of sport are stamina, speed, strength, skill, and spirit. But the greatest of these is spirit. With some form of normality returning to how we can interact and participate in activities this year, the Springer spirit has shone through and we have seen a significant increase in the number of students representing our school at various competitions and events, showing great spirit and participating to the very end, regardless of what the scoreboard was showing. With the introduction of the sporting development programs in basketball, volleyball and AFL from 2023, the number of students representing our school is bound to grow 
and I can't wait to see what these programs help our students achieve. To end, I would like to address those participants who even though you may not win any of the awards being presented, you still put up a great show in the competition you participated in and it's the taking part that really matters. We can't wait to see you take part again in 2023 and give it your all. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Want, for your insight today. Uh, I would now have the great privilege of introducing our 2022 House Captains who will be assisting with the running of this afternoon's ceremony. For Apollo House, we have uh, Caesar Collins and Jada Stefanos Pulu. For Artemis House, we have Carl Rosa and Jessica Anderson. For Athena House, we have Taya Beckers and Joshua Fletcher. And for Poseidon House, we have Salah Puna and Gonga Kumiti. Today, we, will, we are gathered to celebrate the outstanding achievements of students from Springfield Central State High School. As this, is a, as this is a formal occasion, we ask that all students hold applause to the end of the, uh, of the announcement of each category. Please enjoy the media presentations throughout the afternoon as they will give you an insight into our sporting events this year. As mentioned earlier, we were not able to con conduct any sport at school or district swimming carnivals um, at the start of the year. Our regional swimming competitors will be acknowledged later in the program and we look forward to bringing the swimming back to our sports calendar in 2023. This brings us to our cross-country awards. I'd like to invite Apollo House Captain Jada Stefanos Pulu and Mr. Vekariah to the stage to announce the award and present the awards for our inter-house inter cross-country. Our annual Interhouse Cross Country Carnival was held on the last week of Term 1. The competitor event was held at Springfield Central Sp Sports Complex and a participation event was held on our high school grounds. The student results of the participation were added to the competitive runner results to provide us with our winner for 2022. Please hold your applause until the end. The Cross Country Age Champions for 2022 are Boys 12 Years, Charlie Mead. Girls, 12 years, Grace Cherry. Boys, 13 years, Rory Bird. Girls, 13 years, Freya Schwarz. Boys, 14 years, McGill. Girls, 14 years, Bridget. Boys, 15 years, Brayton Edwards. Girls, 15 years, Maya Thompson. Boys, 16 years, Austin Thomas. 
Girls, 17 years. Reese Laws. Girls, 18 to 19 years. Jessica Anderson. Please congratulate all of the award winners. Now for the winning house, the 2022 cross country champion house was Apollo. <laughs> Can I ask Caesar Collins, my fellow Apollo house captain to join me to accept the winning shield? Congratulations to all students and staff involved on the day and all the PE staff who organized the carnival. I would now like to invite Artemis House Captain Carl Rosa, along with Miss Tobek to the stage to present the award winners for the Athletics Carnival. The Interhouse Athletics Carnival was held on the last day of Term 2. The carnival was well attended by students, the best we've seen in recent years. Extra novelty events were added for, the 20, for 2022 to promote house spirit. These points added to the final result. A massive thank you to the PE staff and everyone involved for make, in making the day such a success. The Athletics Age Champions for 2022 are um, boys 12 years, Adun Adun Hemid. <laughs> Girls twelve years are the Brimmel. Boys thirteen years, Ashwin.
Girls vs. News. I'm in that Morocco. Boys, 14 years, Lucas Creek. Girls, 14 years, AJ Hawley. Boys, 15 years, Brokeman Edwards. Girl, oh, girls, 15 years, Maya Thompson. Boys, 16 years, Ruben von Bernus Martini. Girls, 16 years, Jessica Huey. Boys, 18 to 19 years, Joshua Fletcher. And girls, 18 to 19 years, Taya Beckers. Please join me in congratulating these students. Thank you, Mrs. Kopek. And the 2022 house champions are Athena. Can I please ask Joshua Fletcher and Tay Beckis to accept the shield for 2022? Can we please ask Athena House Captain Joshua Fletcher to remain on the stage and Mr. English to present and announce the Summer Gala Day Sport Competition. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Get that. Get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. That boom, 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 that boom, 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 boom. Yo, I got that hit to beat the block. You can get that bass on below. I got that rock and roll, that future flow, that digital spit, next level visual. I got that boom, 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 boom. how to beat bang. I like that boom, boom, pow. Them chickens jogging my style. They try to copy my swagger. I'm on that next now. I'm so 3,000 and eight. You so 2,000. That This year we saw the Agro District Interschool Sport Competition continue with the Gala Day format where all teams played in a round robin competition with the top teams proceeding to the finals. Our year started with seven teams participating in the summer season with all our students participating in futsal and volleyball. Congratulations to all students involved in the summer season. Each year we award the most valuable player from each school representative te teams in each season. The most valuable player is awarded to the player who shows a high level of skill, teamwork and sportsmanship while carrying out our core values of respect, responsibility, relationships, and resilience. Please hold your applause until the end of the announcement of our MVPs. The award winners for the most valuable players for summer inter-school sports are MVP Year 8 Girls Volleyball, Arezzo Kasemi, 
MVP, Year 9 Girls Volleyball, Mariana. MVP, Year 10 Girls Volleyball, Zalia Wallace. MVP, Open Girls Volleyball, Isabella Cotterell. MVP, 7-8 Boys Futsal, Malachi Fisher. MVP, 7-8 Girls Futsal, Janita Kenyon. And MVP, Year 9-10 Boys Futsal, Danny Cho. Please give them a round of applause. Congratulations to all students as well as coaches who gave up their own time to organize and train the teams. I'd like to invite Apollo House Captain, Caesar Collins and Miss Thomas to the stage to present the awards for the Winter Inter-School Sports Competition. Winter season saw a massive number of teams nominated, with 22 teams competing for the honor of district champions. Students competed in rugby league, soccer, netball, basketball, and volleyball. Congratulations to all the students involved in the winter season. MVP, 7A Boys Rugby League, Riley. MVP 7A Girls Rugby League, Janali Wiles Entman and Manai Lovett. MVP 910 Boys Rugby League, Willie Lemalu. MVP 7 Girls Nepal, Sky Meyer. MVP, Seven Girls Nepal, Grace Cherry. MVP, Eight Girls Nepal, Natalia Woolley. MVP, Ten Girls Nepal, Ella Guy. MVP, Open Girls Nepal, Lexi Kuru Jacopo and Jada Stefanos Pulo. MVP Eight Boys Volleyball, Theon Pips. MVP Nine Boys Volleyball, Noah Kuru Jacopo. MVP, 10 Boys Volleyball, Dylan Cocker. 
MVP, 7-8 boys soccer, Jude Waller. MVP, 7-8 boys soccer, Jake O'Halloran. MVP, 9-10 boys soccer, Danny Cho. MVP, open boys soccer, Julian Bossart. MVP, 7A Girls Soccer, Angel Preet Merrock. <laughs> MVP, 910 Girls Soccer, Lily Bolden. MVP, 910 Boys Basketball, Unique Egwu. MVP, Open Boys Basketball, Darius Ford. Please congratulate all award recipients. I would now like to invite Artemis House Captain Jessica Anderson, as well as Ms. Jenkins, to the stage to present the external competitions MVP. The external sport competitions require extra time and commitment and would not be possible without the dedication and hard work from our wonderful coaches. There is so much time and effort that goes into coaching before and after school and the students are incredibly appreciative of your support. Thank you to all staff that have been involved in sport this year at Springfield Central. This year our teachers Mr English, Miss Lee, Miss Thomas, Mr Healy, Mr Vecaria, Miss Poole, Miss C. Oh, and Missy went above and beyond giving up their weekends and after school time for students to participate in more competitions than ever. As, as a school, we had teams participate in the Intermediate and Senior Schools Cup Volleyball Competition, Champion Basketball School of Queensland Competition, and Queensland Ostag All Schools Tournament. Special mention to the Boys and Girls Intermediate Schools Volleyball, volleyball teams that finished second in their division. Also, our senior boys basketball team qualified for the CBSQ competition, winning the wildcard challenge, then taking out bronze in the open competition. The most valuable players from these competitions are Queensland Ostag All Schools Tournament Open Mix, Taya Beckers. Queensland Ostag All Schools Tournament Open Mix, Josiah Scanlon. Queensland Volleyball Intermediate Schools Cup 19 Girls, Chantel Sabritsky. Queensland Volleyball Intermediate Schools Cup 19 Girls, Bodie Eichen. Queensland Volleyball Senior Schools Cup Senior Girls, Zalia Wallace. CBSQ Wildcard Challenge Open Boys, Darius Ford. Um, CBSQ Open Competition Open Boys, David Onyogiviu. Please congratulate all MVPs in 2022. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Jenkins. I would now like to invite Ms. Poole and Poseidon Captain Toga Kometi to present the MVP award for the powerlifting. Um, test, okay, nice. Hey guys. Um, um, good, all right. Uh, this year was the second year that powerlifting was offered at Springfield Central State High School. We've had, we've had increased participation in the after-school gym program, and we would like to see the valuable experience continue. 
A special shout out to Miss Poole for creating, hosting, and organizing the event and for coordinating the after school gym program. In order to win the powerlifting award, students had to perform a squat, deadlift, and bench. All students trained extremely hard leading up to the competition, with the hard work paying off as the competition was extremely tight and lots of PBs being lifted. Um, the award for the most valuable player for powerlifting is Martin Romana. And the rookie of the year is Charlie Bricks. Uh, can we give them a round of applause, please? Ah, oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> can I please ask Teo Beckers and our special guest for this afternoon, Dakota Davidson, to the stage for the Springer Sports interview? Thank you. The back, Wardlaw can link up with Davidson and they kick the third. Davidson makes really good contacts. Davidson to kick her third. Three to Davidson, lots of upside at 22 years of age. And she slots her fourth as well. She's got a bit of sass about it. Dakota yeah. Davidson, the break starts, of which mentioned Jonathan Brown, that sort of player. who's just going to patrol across and a half forward, put the fear of God into opposition players, and do her thing. Yeah, look, she just plays with that swagger, doesn't she? She's up and about, and so she obviously is playing her best footy. The lovely characters that AFLW brings out, and Davidson is definitely one of them. And a great goal there for her. So a big moment is Hickey's kick landed in the arms of Davidson and she made no mistake, Ellie. To her ample numbers around. Davidson loves a goal and she will love this finish. Dakota Davidson with a wonderful snap. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> top crowd, top crowd. All right. Hi, Dakota. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, we're thrilled to have you with us this afternoon. You're a recent superstar of the Brisbane Lions AFLW team. Oh, you're 23, so not long out of school yourself. So your perspective on managing sport in school is really interesting to hear. Uh, we have up the slide behind us of your stats from the year so far. Can you tell us a little bit about your role on the field and within the team? Interesting. I haven't seen them before. Yeah, so I play in the Brisbane Lions AFLW team. I've been in the team now for four seasons, going on my fifth year. So I am a ripe old age of 23, so not much older than you guys. I graduated uh, from Ipswich Girls Grammar School uh, 2016. Um, and actually I was sitting where you guys are. I used to attend all the sports awards because obviously I did more sport than school, but that's not um, part of the drill meant to do more school than sport, but that's okay. Um, yeah, the stats. I'm a centre-half forward for the Brisbane Lions and I had one of the best years uh, of my career in 2021. I think I got the leading goal kicker. Um, I think it was equal, equal tied top in the whole league as well. Um, and then we won the premiership, obviously, in 2021, which was also a part of the stat sheet. And goal celebration queen... Um, I think that's what you guys put in there. I didn't put that one on my stat sheet, but yeah, goal celebration queen. I love a good goal celebration. Yeah, I think we saw that from the video up there. Um, your AFLW career is only just beginning. Um, oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> that's all right. Um, when you, AFL was only beginning to emerge for women when you were in school. What inspired you to pursue your career with AFL? Uh, what inspired me? Well, I graduated high school and I used to do what you guys did. I used to play all school sports. I never really played school out, sport outside of school. I'm, I'm just going to face this way. I feel like I'm not very nice facing you guys. Um, so I played all the school sports. I did touch football, volleyball, athletics, cross country, cricket. Um, I did a lot of school sports and that kept, took up a lot of my time. I used to do training two, three times a week and then... When I graduated high school, I was a little bit lost and I didn't know what to do with my life and 
I'm not a very studious person. I didn't really, I couldn't really sit still. Like I wasn't very studious in regards to, to studying and that sort of stuff. But funny story, my sister loved studying. So she thought she'd put that one on me. So she dragged me along to the UQ market day. And there was a, uh, not a touch footy, uh, an AFL tent. And you go up, there's about 100 tents at UQ, at UQ, all filled with like jousting and Pokemon Go and, and all these different um, tents that you can join at uni. And I was like, holy moly, there's a lot of things to do here. So I, I kept looking around and I found the AFL tent and I saw and I went over and, hey, how you going? What's your name? I'm like, oh, I'm Dax. And I'm looking at the backboard and there's, a, there's all these photos um, out the backboard and I see this, this, this man and he's got this big mullet. I think that's come back, hasn't it now, fellas? The big mullet? Yeah. Come back in on a fashion. He loves it. And there's this big man, and I look closer at him and go, gosh, he looks familiar. And it was my dad. 1991, grand final. He reckons he won it with his left boot. I don't, I don't think he did, but anyway. Um, so I called him up. I was like, hey, Pops, is this you? And he goes, oh, man, he tells me the big story about how he won and how much of a legend he was. He wasn't. And then, um, yeah, signed up, went down, and, and, that, and then that sort of got my ball rolling and in the aspect of playing footy. Um, I sort of found my way from there and a, a few of the girls there played in the AFLW and, and I thought they were just, you know, so far ahead of everyone else. I was just, you know, I was out, going out, I was partying. I was 18 at the time. I was, you know, having the best time of my life. And, and then I never really saw it as a career. I just saw it as, a, as something to do to, to, to fill in time and to play sport. So then I just, you know, went along with it. And then I think two years into my career of playing, um, my coach came up to me and goes, look, Craig Stasevich is looking at you. And I said, who? And it was the coach of the women's team. And I was like, I don't even know who he was. I didn't even know his name. I went home, I Googled him, and um, up he popped, you know, Collingwood superstar, three-time premiership, you know, legend. And I go, oh, gosh, okay. So he's looking at me, and then a couple of years later, then I got drafted after playing, and I thought, I really need to sort myself out here and, and, and get, my, get my body right and all that. So I then found out, yeah, as a career and, and, and it finally took off as a career. And, and then from there, now four years, five years later, I'm here talking about it. Yeah, that's crazy? really great. Um, <laughs> we know that success takes persever perseverance and resilience. Can you tell us about the major barriers you've had to overcome and how you've overcame them? Yeah, of course. There's been heaps of barriers uh, with my footy journey to, to start. I never had a licence when I started playing and I lived in Ipswich and training was in Brisbane. So that was a two-hour train ride in and then home at, you know, 11 o'clock. So one barrier, um, obviously women in sport were not very up in the hierarchy, you could say. So that was another barrier, trying to overcome, I guess, coming into a male-dominated sport, being a female you just get overlooked. So that is another barrier. Obviously how I look is different to the average female, um, you could say. So that's another barrier, you know, always being called a boy or, you know, why is that boy playing in the AFLW? So that's another barrier, you know, you have to overcome. But it all just shapes you into to who you are now. And I guess I've, I've gone through the, the mental stages of, of these barriers. And um, obviously then another barrier is like the work that you have to do because obviously we're not getting paid enough to be able to live just off AFLW. So I've got um, three other jobs as well as my my footy career, um, just to you know uphold my very bougie lifestyle. I've got a very bougie lifestyle, um, but yeah. So it's it, there's a heaps of barriers, but they're definitely being broken ever so ever so slowly, starting to be broken down, which is very very exciting. But I've definitely been through my fair share of barriers and I've come out better on the other side and, and I think most girls have and, and we're slowly getting to where we want to go. Damn, three jobs, that's a lot. Three jobs, yeah. yeah. Do you want to hear them? There's, I'm a chef, I'm a disability support worker, a footy player and what's the third one? I don't work at it very much. Oh, it doesn't matter. Damn. doesn't matter. I worked at it once every three weeks. No free time there. No. Now, can you tell us about your favourite achievement so far? Favourite achievement? Uh, I won the Premiership. Oh, that's not it. Um, so we won the AFLW Premiership back in 2021, and that was probably the highlight of my career. Um, that's obviously what you work towards in any sport is, is the pivotal of that sport, so that would have to be one of the highlights of my career, and obviously then meeting 
young girls and young fans and obviously young boys now as well that want to aspire to be professional athletes someday. So just meeting those people and hearing about their story and, and everyone's so different. So you just need to take the time to actually talk to someone and hear them. And then, you know, one day they could be your teammates. So you always need to make sure that you make time for these people. So that's probably one of my favourite things, but also winning a, winning a premiership was definitely up there with one of the best. And we've heard you're renou renowned for your post-goal celebrations. What are you feeling in that moment? Yes, the goal celebrations. Um, it's been a bit of a tough year. I haven't kicked too many this year, actually. I've, I've, I've come into a different role within the team. But um, everyone has a job to play in the team, and I guess mine is to kick goals. So when you can pursue that job, then you've, done, you've, you've played your role. And I think the excitement that I can bring to my team by kicking a goal is is very valuable within within the team so when i when i kick a goal i'm not even thinking about my celebration i'm more like oh god get it through the big ones um and then afterwards i think it's just like an electric feeling like yes i've done my job i'm going to celebrate now with my teammates like and i get excited i'm very i got adhd so it's like but anyway um it's just you know an overcome of emotion and to kick one you know it's 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 very hard to do in, a, in an elite environment. So definitely, yeah, I love kicking goals, but celebration is just a, an uprise for the team. And the Brisbane Lions has moved to our Springfield region. What opportunities does this present to you in the community? Less of a drive? Uh, no, more of a drive. I live um, in Ascot, so it's definitely added on to the minutes. Um, being out here is, 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 is close to home for me. I grew up just out there in Ipswich, so um, it's very good for my family. You know, everyone can come out here, but also just expanding. You know, AFL is just predominantly in, played in Brisbane, but there's so much talent, I think, in the outer suburbs that just unfortunately don't get that say because they're just, you know, not in the Brisbane region. So I think it's a great opportunity for, for, for the Brisbane Lions to have such high-tech facilities. Like, I don't even have a locker at my fist at at the moment whereas you know the men at the gabba they have you know all their lockers and their names and you know la da 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 but i i have all my boots in my car i have they stink all oh, they stink anyway they're in the back i just shut the door and hope for the best um and then you guys are a tough crowd i'm just trying to get a laugh and you go Oof, you see me like this. gosh tough crowd um yeah, Springfield. It's 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 an amazing facility, and and us as athletes think it's gonna then propel us to hopefully get on the road to full time athletes. Um, you got all the facilities. We got all you know, the media and being able to to actually pursue footy full time is is gonna be huge. And and then definitely you guys now know that you have this facility to then come into, and you just you just come straight in. Like you just guys just come in and you just do what you need to do, and you and you you become better athletes. So. We've had to go through, I think, 10 or so years now of just hard finally getting it on, on through the cards. But, um, yeah, it's a huge, it's a huge um, step in the right direction for, for women's footy and, and men can come out and use it too if they want, I guess. But women's footy. Yeah, it looks great there. It's going up pretty fast. It has, hasn't it? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> it went, like, we move in there on Sunday. Yeah. We do our first gym session on Sunday after. We play on Friday night, this Friday, and then... Um, We'll pump iron on the Sunday, so see how it how it rolls with the throwing timber around. Finally, Dakota, we have many future athletes in the crowd at the moment. Um, do you have any messages or inspiration that you could share with them? Um, a piece of advice I wish that I actually got before I started playing footy was um, time management. So, yes, sport is amazing. It makes you feel incredible. It's so fun to do. You see your friends, but... You can get lost in it. I went through a stage where it was just footy, 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 and I hated it. I didn't spend time with my family. I couldn't spend time with my partner. I couldn't spend time with, you know, my friends. And I was so involved in sport that I started to lose my, my love for the, for the game. So I think making sure that, you know, you are training hard and when you get to training and you're training with intent and, and all that stuff, but when it's not time for footy or, or cricket or volleyball or whatever sport you play that you take that time away and you actually enjoy what you do you know you you might read a book or I don't know have a a walk in the park I don't know just something to be able to take your mind off the sport otherwise it can it can engulf you 
And that's, it is unhealthy. Because that happened in me, what year is it? 2023, what season are we in? Um, the start of this year. Because we've had two seasons. So we've done the first season and then we've played two seasons, anyway. So from, from <laughs> I'm trying to think about what day it is. Um, so from January to, to April, I was all footy and I hated it. I hated footy. I didn't want to be there. I hated training. I didn't want to see anyone. I was, I was gaining weight. I was not being the player that I wanted to be. And that was because all I did was wake up, footy. And I didn't, I, I barely even had breakfast. Like, I can't tell you guys how vital it is to make sure you spend your time away from your sport. Make sure you sit at the dinner table, turn your phone off and, in, and involve yourself with the conversation or involve yourself with your family or involve yourself with your friends. If you go to a party, don't all sit there on your phones. Involve yourself with the people around you. And then when you start playing your sport again, you go, God, I love it here. And then you go back to your friends or you go back to your partners or you, whatever that. So I think that is probably one of the, the advice that I would give myself when I started playing is making sure your time management for different things that you like is all in a row. Otherwise, you're going to get so involved in other things and you will not like your sport that you're doing anymore. Yeah, thank you for that. That was so deep. Thank you guys <laughs> all for listening. That got really deep, didn't it? Gosh, it oh, I'm good. trying to give it fun. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us. You have been an inspiration to us all and we appreciate you giving up your time to be here. Um, please accept this gift on a behalf gift? of Springfield Central State High. Oh, wow. Well. Thank you so much. And good luck for your game on Friday and for the rest of the season. Can we please give Dakota a big round of applause? Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Got really deep at the end. I just want to finish off with a joke. No, I'm kidding. Oh, thanks again, Dakota. Can we please have Poseidon House Captain Sala Puna and Mr. Jorgensen to come to the stage and present the District Representative Awards? Springfield Central State High is part of the Yago District for representative sports, where we are part of the Central Comets District, competing against 34 other schools, including many private schools. With the increase in the number of schools and students being selected in the district team to compete in the Mint West Trials has become even more difficult. Being a district representative in 2022 is an exceptional achievement, and we are proud to congratulate the following students on their individual success in their chosen sports. Could you please hold your applause until the end? Central Comets District Representative Cross Country, Edie Roslyn Clark. District Representative Cross Country and Track and Field, Maya Thompson. Central Comets District Representative Cross Country, Track and Field, Touch Football and Rugby League, Taya Beckers. District Representative Cross Country, Bridget. District Representative Cross Country, Reese Laws. District Representative Track and Field and Netball, Olivia Binky. District Representative Track and Field and Swimming, Isla Brimble. District Representative Track and Field, Aminat Merrock. District Representative Track and Field, Jason Tanioli. District Representative Track and Field, Roman Eichen. District Representative Rugby Union and Rugby League, Willy Lomali. District Representative Volleyball, Sean Mulaudi. District Representative Volleyball, Bodhi Eichen. 
District Representative Volleyball Dylan Kaka. District Representative Volleyball Joe Williams. District Representative Basketball Jacob Matthews. District Representative Basketball and AFL Jody Taylor Matthew. District Representative Basketball David Onyo Gazzetti. District Representative Cricket Arian Maya. District Representative AFL Lucas Creek. District Representative Softball and Swimming Spencer Hughes. District Representative Touch Football Jordan O'Kane. District Representative Swimming Zara Bumble. District Representative Swimming Madison Head. District Representative Rugby League Isaac McKenzie. District Representative Rugby League Indiana Fatiolofa. District Representative Rugby League Ethan O'Day. District Representative Rugby League Ella O'Day. District Rugby League Malakai Limalu. And District Representative Touch Football Chantal Sobitsky. Can we give can we please give a round of applause for all participants? <laughs> can we please ask Athena House Captain Ter Beckers as well as Mr. Grant to come to the stage to present the awards for Met West representatives? The Metropolitan West Region compromises of five districts and, ex and exceeds 100,000 students from more than 200 individual schools. Students from our school compete against students from other districts and, if successful, are selected to represent Met West at the Queensland State Championships. Congratulations to our 2022 Met West representatives, Madison Head for swimming, Softball and baseball, Jackson Gosler. AFL, Joby Taylor Smith. Touch football, Chantelle Sabritsky. Touch football, Jordan O'Kane. Volleyball, Dylan Cocker. Volleyball, Bodie Eichen. For cricket, Erin Moran. For basketball, Adamari Rapana. For softball, Spencer Hughes. For track and field, Maya Thompson. For track and field, Olivia Benke. And hockey, Keisha Louie. Can you please congratulate me with, with, oh, can you please join me in congratulating all the Met West representatives? <laughs> Queensland representative, states, uh, Queensland representative School Sport comprises of 12 school sport regions covering the state of Queensland. Students from our school represent Queensland and compete against students from other states at the national championships. 
please congratulate our 2022 Queensland representatives for cricket 16 to 19 girls, Erin Lauren. And volleyball 13 to 15 years boys, Bodie Eichen. Please congratulate our Queensland representatives. School Sport Australia provides a pathway for athletes to compete at national level. High level athletes are selected from each state at the national championships to represent Australia to compete in tours against other countries. Congratulations to our 2022 Australian representative for volleyball, 13 to 15 year boys, Bodie Eichen. I would now like to invite Poseidon House Captain, Toga Committee and the coaches of the winning teams, Mr. English, Mr. Birking, Ms. Pennycott, Mr. Grant, Mr. Jorgensen, up to present the Yagara District Premier Awards. Um, some of the sporting teams had great success at their gala day and were able to overcome the competition to bring back the district premiership. Uh, congratulations to the 7 and 8 boys futsal, 7 and 8 boys basketball, the 7 and 8 girls soccer, 9 and 10 boys basketball, year 10 boys volleyball, and year 8 boys volleyball. Um, anyone tell me? Oh, can I just read the name? <laughs> um, hey guys, do I read the name? Okay, um, the seven and eight boys futsal, uh, Jude Waller, uh, Jordan Doe, uh, Malachi Fisher, Arav Prasad, uh, Riley Matthews. Uh, Jake O'Halloran, Mackenzie Crowley, and Jake Webb. Um, <laughs> for the seven and eight boys basketball, can I please get Marco Torres? I think did I not meant to do that? Oh, jokes. I was meant to clap you guys. Uh, can we please get a round of applause for the 7 and 8 boys for two? Sorry about that one. Thank you, guys. Um, <laughs> my bad. Uh, the 7 and 8 boys basketball. Can I please get Marco Torres? Sorry, bro. Um. Um, yeah, Marco Torres, uh, Aguirre Kuo, can I get Jesse, uh, Lucas Faasoy, Job Taylor-Smith, Jarrett Torian, can I get Kohu, and Lincoln Dupoy. Uh, can I get a round of applause for these guys, please? Good job, guys. Good job. Uh, uh, for the seven and eight girls soccer, can I please get Angeth Ayom, Pearl Baxi, uh, Helen Biju? Raven Flaws, Caitlin Holt, Janetta Kenny, uh, Isha Manoka, Angel Preet Maroc, Amanat Maroc, Isabella Nyun.
Abigail Nichols, Holly O'Reilly, Sienna Rapson, Freya Schwarz, and and Hope Tolcomo. Yes. <clears throat> Can we get a round of applause for these guys, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys are amazing. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, for the year nine and ten boys basketball, can I get Xavier Young? Slater Plunkett, Jet Arcado, Corey, uh, Unique Egwu, uh, Joshua, Xavier Vavo, uh, CJ Lepastier. Uh, Luke, uh, Jackson Gosner, Cameron Russell, and Brennan Tapiodor. Uh, can I get a round of applause for the 9 and 10 boys basketball? Um, the year 10 boys volleyball, can I get Bodie Eichen? Dylan Cocker, George Hjelte, Ben Ha Matthew, uh, Joshua, uh, Russell Parr, Stuart Smith, Nahum McCarthy. Junjun Mataganas, Abel Binu, Seneth Kumerepeli, and Eli Dangjin. Can I please get a round of applause for the Year 10 Boys Volleyball? For the year eight boys volleyball, can I please get Fionn Pips? Uh, Rahula and Safi. Uh, Tajbir Singh. Alvasa Fale Ali'i. Kevan Robert. Malakai Lemalu. And Dalvine Matthew. Can I please get a round of applause for the Year Eight Boys Volleyball? Thank you, guys. Um, our inter-school sports season would not be possible without the dedication and hard work from our wonderful coaches. There is so much time and effort that goes into coaching, both before and after school. And the students are incredibly appreciative of your support. Thank you to all staff that have been involved in this sport this year at Springfield Central. Please congratulate all district premiers in 2022. 
Um, yeah. uh, thank you, teachers. Um, it is now time to present this year's Springfield Central Team of the Year. Could I please ask Mr. Jones to the stage and the coaches of the Yagura District Premier teams to remain on stage? Uh, Mr. Jones? Sweet, thank you, guys. Uh, 2022 saw a number of teams represent the school in a variety of competitions with some excellent results. This year we had six different teams win their Yagara District's Grand Finals and therefore progressed through to the Metropolitan Finals where their season finally came to an end in the later rounds. All six teams gave their all, always working as a cohesive team and displayed sportsmanship towards their teammates, the opposition and the referees. As a result, it has been extremely difficult to split the six teams. However, the team of the year is Year 7-8 Boys Basketball. Cool. Uh, Marco Torres. Agir Kuo. Uh, Jesse, or Jesse, uh, Lucas Fasol, Job Taylor Smith, Jarrett Torian, Kohu, and Lincoln Dupoy. Can we please give them a round of applause? Cool. It is now time to announce House of the Year. Um, to announce this award, can we please have Mr. Tucker to the stage with Miss Want to present the award? Good afternoon. 2022 was a very unusual yet exciting year in terms of our inter-house carnivals. Unfortunately, our swimming carnival was cancelled as a result of a number of setbacks due to COVID-19. However, with resilience and unwavering hard work and determination from our staff and students, we are still able to compete, complete the other inter-house uh, events later in the year, despite all the restrictions and continuing setbacks. The events that were on offer for students to contribute to to house points were for this award were the Cross Country Carnival and the Athletics Carnival. I'll announce the houses in order of their place and points. In fourth place, we have Artemis with 2,784. So that's not Artemis. In third place, we have Poseidon with 3,133. In second place, we have Apollo with 3296 and that crowns Athena as the 2022 house or Carnival House of the Year with 3736. Shields behind you. Thank you. 
Uh, congratulations to Athena and all the other houses for their magnificent work throughout the year. And special thanks to those house captains for their hard work behind the scenes. And thank you to Miss Davison as our Athena house coordinator taking the trophy this year. I'd also now like to thank, uh, invite, sorry, Mr. Gerke along with our special guest, Dakota, back to the stage to present the Sports People of the Year. The Junior Sportsman of the Year Award is presented to a male student in year seven, eight or nine, whom has the highest representative points through 2022. The, the recipient this year has displayed uh, true grit and courage whilst competing, continuing to share his passion for sport and display respect and resilience in doing so. He competed for the Central Comets District Rugby, rugby Team and Rugby Union Teams. He's a true all-rounder competing in the Central uh, Springfield Central Volleyball Team and Rugby League Team, being voted MVP. He's a super competitive young athlete with a bright sporting future ahead of him. The winner of the 2022 Junior Sportsman of the Year is Willie Lameau. Thank you, Willie. Thanks, Willie. <laughs> well done, Willie. The Junior Sportswoman of the Year is, pr is, is presented to a female athlete in year 7, 8 or 9, whom, whom has the highest representative points in 2022. Gifted athlete who excelled in her age group, she showed strength and perseverance in all her sporting endeavours in 2022. In her age group, she was a member of the Springfield Central Track and Field Team and Netball Teams, earning district representative representations for both. However, her strength was track and field, more, more, more notably in high, long jump and high jump, where she was selected in the Met West teams to compete at the Queensland State Championships. We look forward to seeing this Year 7 student develop further her sporting abilities over the coming years. I'm pleased to announce the 2022 Junior Sportsman, Sportswoman of the Year is Olivia uh, Binky. The Senior Sportsman of the Year Award is presented to a male athlete who competes in year 10, 11 or 12. A talented athlete who excelled in his tough age group. He showed great resilience and perseverance in his sporting endeavours in 2022. In terms of volleyball, this young athlete was amazing to watch. He was in the successful inter-school volleyball teams, winning the Yagara District and competing in the Metropolitan Finals. From there, he was selected at all representative levels making it on to the All-Australian Volleyball Team and winning gold for Australia at the, uh, for Australia, for Queensland, at the Queen, uh, Australian Schools Volleyball Tournament. He also represented Springfield Central at the Queensland Volleyball Intermediate Schools Cup, where he was a key member and awarded MVP. This athlete is highly respected by his peers and staff alike. alike. We are all eager to watch this athlete grow in his super competitive age group, and we wish him all the best. Congratulations to the 2022 Senior Sportsman of the Year, Bodie Eichen. The Senior Sportswoman of the Year is presented to a female athlete in year 10, 11 or 12. A standout athlete, this year's recipient competed in the Athletics Inter-School House Carnival, uh, being awarded the Athletics Age Champion. 
both cross-country athletics, touch football and rugby league. She earned district representations. She also represented Springfield Central at the Queensland All Schools, All Schools Tournament, where she was a key member and awarded MVP. The young lady may go on about her sporting achievements in a quiet manner, but she is not one to be under, underestimated. I'm pleased to announce the 2022 Senior Sportswoman of the Year is Taya Beckers. Can we please have Jessica Anderson and Joshua Fletcher back to the stage for the vote of thanks. As our afternoon draws to a close and we reflect on the amazing sporting achievements of our students, we would like to thank the many people that have contributed to our student success and to the success of this afternoon. Thank you to our senior leadership team and school PNC Association for your ongoing support and support in our great school. Thank you to our school, our special guest, Dakota Davidson, for sharing your story and for your invaluable advice that I know many of our athletes appreciate. Uh, thank you to our sp official sponsor, Rebel Sports Orion, for your continued support of Springfield Central State High School. Thank you to Mr. Tucker, Head of Department HPE, and Mr. Gerke, Sports Coordinator, for the countless hours you put in behind the scenes and for organizing this event. Thank you to all of our dedicated HP staff members who have organized carnivals, coached sporting teams and supported our students this year. Often the names get overlooked, so I'll quickly go over their names. Mr. Birking, Mr. Buller, Mr. Jones, Ms. Canaris, Mr. English, Mr. Grant, Mr. Griffiths, Ms. Jenkins, Mr. Jorgensen, Ms. Lee, Ms. Poole, Ms. Thomas, Mr. Beck, Mr. Tucker, and Mr. Vecariah. <laughs> A big thank you to all the parents, caregivers, family, and friends of the students of Springfield Central State High School. Without your support, our students would not be as successful as they are. And finally, to the students. Congratulations on your amazing achievements this year. We can't wait to see you back next year, bigger and better than ever. We would now like to invite Lexi Kuria Kapoor and all of our house captains back to the stage to lead the school song. While these students make their way onto the stage, all students and staff in the audience, please stand and sing along. We get up and get ready for a new day To start our journey To learn and do good in every way And reach our glory We are central students We will learn to do what is right to make this a brighter day and help each other to scale great heights. We strive each day to do our best through responsibility, relationships, resilience. Starting with respect, we are central students. To do what is right To make this a brighter day And help each other to scale great
Thank you, Lexi and Janelle and our house captains. We are lucky here at Springfield Central to have a large number of teachers who, have, who through their own love of sport, want to offer as many opportunities for you to experience the joys and passions that come with sport. I'd like to offer my uh, thanks to all coaches and Mr Tucker for all the hard work over 2022. Congratulations to all of our award recipients and we wish you all the best in your future sporting endeavours. Thank you.